Hey everyone, this is Man in the Black Hat, and I'm here with the first episode of Harvest Moon, Back to Nature. This is realistically the same as the GBA version, but in a 3D isometric perspective. So, let's, let's have fun with this game. Welcome to Mineral Town. I'm Mayor Thomas. I'm going to ask you a number of questions, so please answer them. What is your name? My name for this will be Ozzy. Oh. Z Z. Why? Is this name okay? Yes. When is your birthday? It would be summer 10. Is this okay? Yes. What is the name of the farm? Uh, that's easy. Black Hat. A L A C. Um. Wrong damn K. Yeah. Saw it. Okay. Space. H A. -T. Oh. Fine. Okay. H A. T. All one word. Yes. What is the name of the dog on the farm? Well, you know what? It's going to be someone loyal and friendly and companionable. You're right. It's going to be Rezo. Our most loyal companion. Yes. This is okay. Now loading the introductory scene to Harvest Moon. Now the difference between this game and the GBA version of it is this game gives you three years. Well, what do you think? This was your grandpa's farm. It's been neglected for quite some time. So it's a bit of a mess. The initial mess is randomly generated. Do you remember when you were young and spent summer vacations on this farm? Yep. Let's remember that now. I'm sorry, but I've had to cancel the family trip this summer. I couldn't rearrange my work schedule. I'm sorry. I know I promised you. Please understand. I'm very busy. I'll make it up for this. I'm very sorry, dear, but I asked Grandpa if you could stay at his farm. Take it easy and enjoy nature for a change. But I want to go to Disneyland! Hello there, Sonny. There's not much excitement out in these parts. But you're welcome to stay as long as you want. I'm too busy with my farm chores to play with you much, but there are some children in the village and you can play with them. They're at the Petridge Farm. Yay, I'm running a cow! Ow! Yay, I'm on a horse! Yay, I'm chasing a chicken! Oh crap! Yay, throwing a rock! Sploosh! Yay, relaxing! Wow, this is boring! I am so damn bored! 
What is there to do here? Oh well. Nap time! It's over. The song's catchy. So, how was it? Did you have fun? When you go home, tell your mom and dad that I enjoyed it too. Yes. Since this is a flashback, yes, I totally will. It's been a long time since then. You've grown up well in those years. So I talked this over with the people in the village. Your grandfather took real good care of this farm. We respect his wishes and would like to see how much you can accomplish in three years. We don't mean to be testing you, but if you can get this farm back like it was, the village will accept you as the rightful owner of the farm. But if the farm is neglected or you can't get along with the villagers, then you'll have to leave. That is the decision we made as a village. Farming is very hard work, but I hope you do your best and become a great farmer like your grandfather. Yay! We're not quite done with the introductory yet. We do have control of the character. Turn on the TV. Uh, we'll check the weather report first. Check the weather report first. Oh, New Year's special. Fine. I'm not going to voice the TV. If a guest wants to voice the TV, they can voice the TV. I don't care. Ah, oh, crap. That goes on forever. Yep. Goes on forever. Let's watch the TV again. Let's get... Weather report. Clear blue skies. It's always important to check the weather. Goddess Festival, local horse race, cooking festival. That'll give you an overview, but calendar's better. And Life on the Farm gives you some very basic tips. Anyways, let's get the hell out of here. Good morning, Ozzy. I came to show you around the village, if you'd like. Yes, please. Well then, let's go. That way leads you to the poultry farm and Yodel Ranch. 
You can buy chickens and other animals at those places. This is the blacksmith shop. You can buy tools for your farm here. Blacksmith can also improve tools for you. This is the orchard. They're sure I help at the harvest time, so you can lend a hand if you want. This is the library. You can learn lots from reading books. Uh, of course, you can also go ask me and the other villagers about things. Well, hello, Thomas. And who do we have here? Is this the young man you said would be running the Black Hat Farm? Hello, Ellen. Yeah, this is the one. His name's Ozzy. Let me introduce you to Ellen. She used to be a midwife. Her granddaughter is now working at the clinic. Next, let me show you my house, which is right next door. Take care, Ellen. Goodbye, Thomas. It was nice to meet you, too, uh, Ozzy. This is my house. I live with my son, the policeman. Please come visit us anytime. This is a supermarket. You can buy all sorts of things here, even seeds for your farm. This is the clinic. You can come here when you feel sick or fatigued, but try not to overwork, so you don't have to. The church is over there. The pastor's an odd man, but nice. This is the inn. This is a restaurant on the first floor, and the bar opens after sundown. This is a square. Most of our festivals are held here. If you go straight, you'll reach the beach. The left path leads you back to the church, and the right path runs in front of the Yodel Ranch. Well, I guess that's about all I have to say. Walk around and see what else is here. Just press the select button to view the village map. If you press the start button when you're on the farm, you can get a bird's eye view of the whole farm. Oh yeah, the woodcutter Gotts lives up in the mountain, so he's the guy to ask about that area. Well, I have to go now. Good luck, Ozzy. I'm the buyer, Zock. Nice to meet you. As a farmer, there's just one thing you need to remember. There's a bin on the farm, and that's where you place the produce you want to sell. We'll drop by every evening at 5 to see if there's anything to pick up. We'll pay you on the spot. Oh, but I won't drop by on festival days. I want holidays, too. <laughs> ha. There are also bins in the hen house and the sheep cow barn. You can sell the vegetables you've harvested, as well as the things you gathered in the mountains, of course. You can sell eggs, wool, and milk too, got it? Good. I'll come around again at five. <gasps> and with that 15 minutes introductory section out of the way... I'd say it's time to get our initial two days started. Ugh. Hmm. May have been a bad choice. Yeah. Let's get that. The axe. And... The hammer. That should do it for now. Reason being is the sickle is only useful for grass. Wild grass, not so much. Smacking stones will give you stone. 
cutting branches will give you logs. Toss those away, because you don't need them. Ah! There you go. Hammer is also useful for getting um, ores, which you will need fairly quickly. What we want to do is get this area near the bin cleared out. Because we need an initial area and it needs to be a bit larger than you'd think. Ah! This isometric perspective screws with me. Okay, that should be plenty. Pick up Rezo. Rezo's doghouse. And put him down. And he makes a heart. It's because we interacted with him. The more you interact with your pets, the more they like you. The more they like you, the better they'll do at certain events. Now, we need to replace the axe with nothing, and the hammer with the nothing. That's because we need to go into town, buy stuff. Why do we need to go buy stuff? Let's go to Chicken Lil's. We need to buy stuff because otherwise we're gonna... Hi. I like everyone in the village except Kai. He comes for the summer, upsets everyone, and then leaves. Okay. Can I go in? Apparently not. It's locked. Can I go in now? No. Notice the black heart next to her. That means her heart level is at zero. She has just met you. The more towards red the heart level is, the closer she is to loving you. Anyone that has a heart next to them... Holy crap, 1500 gold? Well, that chicken will pay for itself fairly quickly, so... Eh. Okay, can't visit them on Sundays. Well, you can, but they won't sell anything. So let's go back to the village. The more you interact with and otherwise level stuff for the women, the better you are regarded by them. Now, believe it or not, you can level relationships with people that aren't interested in marrying you. And they become friends. Friends give you discounts. Friends give you special events that help you with your loved ones. All sorts of nice things. So it's worth investing the time in them. Now, in uh, Friends of Mineral Town... There's no upward limit to um, getting the job done. So you can max out everyone's relationship eventually. Which you kind of want to do. I drop by the mayor's house before I go to Hot Springs on Monday. Me and this village go way back, you know. I've been taking pictures around here for 20 years now. I want to show how people and animals live together. Mayor supports my work, as did his father, the mayor. Okay, weird. That character is not in Friends of Mineral Town. In. And that supermar oh, okay, the next screen. Gotcha. And over here is now noon. 
supermarket. Those Tuesdays and Sundays. So you kind of got to plan ahead when it comes to buying your seeds. Uh, I'll bring the money next time. Huh? The next time? Take this, put it on my tab. Oh, that thing. Okay, yeah, next time. Say, aren't you the guy from the Black Hat Farm? What's wrong? You don't look good. You should pay. Ah, <laughs> it's okay. Oh, Karen. Okay, okay. You, I can't escape. Hello, Karen. Okay. Those are fruit and vegetable seeds. The seeds we have now are for spring planting, but if you have a hothouse, you can grow them anytime. Each bag has nine seeds. You can eat or sell the fruits and vegetables you harvest. You want to buy any seeds? We don't want grass seeds yet, because we don't have any animals, but we will want to get grass seeds. How many do you want to buy? One. Just one. Thank you very much! And potato seeds. How many you want to buy? One. Thank you very much! And gra no, I don't want to go grass. Damn it. Screw you. Oh, are you sure? Will there be anything else? Cucumber seeds. How many you want to buy? Just one. Thank you very much. Well, we always have seeds there for sale. That's the wrapping corner. If you want something wrapped, just leave it there. Okay. Now we have three different seeds and we're gonna go back. Now, remember what I said early before this ever posted? I said you guys would determine what crops we'd get every season. That means after this initial crop, you tell me if you want more cucumbers or you want more potatoes, or you want more turnips, or you want a combination of all three. In some combination. But we will expand the farm throughout the spring. And as we gain more money, we will expand our options. But remember, we've got to have about 500 gold to start with at the start of every single month. So, okay. Get that out. Two, three, yeah. Uh -huh. This is the ideal crop square, by the way. For now. Hello! Poof! Hello, puppy! You're a good puppy. Go over here to the water. 
fill our bucket. Uh, no fish food. Okay. Apparently we can farm fish. Ah! Your water can will level quickly. Now if you can help it, you want to get the water can leveled on um, rainy days. Because otherwise your crops will go unwatered for a day. Either that or water your crop, then turn it in, and then bring it back. One thing you want to be careful of... Uh-huh. Never ever end a day without picking something up. It may just be one thing, but if you have to, go out and gather something up during the winter. And put it in there. Anything you can get, you can sell. Alright. One. Two. Three. One. Two. Three. Four. And one more. Five. Now we want to have... Um... Uh, I don't care. Okay. Cucumber. Yes. Right now, because of the way things are situated, this is the most efficient method of getting eight crops. And it's five people. I'll take the produce that's in the bin. Yeah. Why well, you want to spend the first part of your day gathering? The next part of your day, you want to spend interacting with people, and before you sleep, you want to take care of crops. Yeah, yeah, 6 p.m. It means the bar is open now. Want to get all of this done and watered before I plant the last seeds, the potato seeds. Now the thing is, while your grass is, while your stuff is still seeds, wild grass can take over that square if you're not careful. So don't let it grow too close. And there we go. All that's in. And it took us 15 minutes to get through that day. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's go in. Have a good night. Actually... We don't have a reason to have the dog out at night. Probably won't ever have a reason to have the dog out at night. So let's bring him in. Because one of the tricks that you can do is if you bring the dog to bed with you, then it'll gain an extra heart for that day. Make a diary entry, go to sleep. Pretty much save after every day just because it's convenient. Uh huh. Uh huh. And. Come on. There you go. Finally. Save system takes a while.
I heard a suspicious man wearing funny clothes was hanging around the village. He has sunglasses and yellow clothes and a strange bag. Be careful. Okay. I'm sure it's not nah, crap. And it's our stereotypical Chinese character. Oh, bravo. Why did I ever come to such a place? No, seriously, that's how they wanted this character to be. Are you the owner here? I'm so tired from walking in the mountain. May I rest here a while? Doesn't wait for you to answer yes or no, he just fucking goes and does it. And now we have control again. Yay. Let's get rid of you. And you. That should be fine. Don't worry, I won't be any trouble. Okay. Now, first thing in the morning, we go gather stuff from the mountain area. We should basically pick this place clean every single day. Oops. Wrong button. Oh well, restored a bit of stamina that I didn't need restored. And rucksack. And rucksack. And pick that one, and go. One of the things we're going to want to do when we get the money is buy a bigger backpack. There's more items we can carry around, which means we can go pick the place clean quicker. One. Um. Two. Three. Okay. I'll take care of most of my financial needs for the day. And upsy daisy cool. Hi. Okay. Right. Did she say anything different? No. Fine. Oh, another neat trick. Pick up a cute animal, like the squirrel, show it to people, and they'll comment. Off we go. To talk to more people. Hmm. There's lots of events you can see at certain times. Hey, I'm looking for trees to make lumber and for things to eat. Before you go cutting trees, let me tell you this. Don't act thoughtlessly. We humans are blessed by the mountain. Okay. Off we go. And flowers. Believe it or not, flowers are worth something. But they're more valuable as girl gifts than they are as um, sources of income. So just you remember that. And all the way up here, and there's nothing. Okay, nothing, nothing, tra la la. I think there's only a very few instances when there's anything worth going up that hill for. Okay, so let's pick up a couple more flowers. And one more. Okay. 
carry this one around until we find a girl to give it to. Whee! I believe we know a grand total of three girls in the place now. Their actual um, possibilities. So. Alright, guys, if you want to make your pick now, the choices are Anne, Potpourri, or Karen. Because those are the only girls we've met so far. Ah! Hey, it's a scene! Potpourri! Yeah, her brother's name is Rick, but her name is Potpourri. Oh, you silly, silly Japanese people and your silly, silly names. Okay. Oh, hello. You're Ozzy, right? I guess you heard us arguing. What happened was one of our hens got killed by a stray dog. My sister Potpourri forgot to put it in the coop. So I got mad and yelled at her. Say, would you do me a favor and go bring Potpourri back home? I think she went up in the mountain behind our house. If I went to get her, we'd probably start arguing again. Okay. Whee! Now eventually we're going to have to go to the other farm. And talk to the personage there. We, we only really want to go and talk to the Lumberjack when we want to make additions to our house. Hello, Popery. My sympathies. Fast forward a bit. Finally! Where are you going? I wanted to give you this flower. Well, crud. Now that is what is known as a heart event. The more heart events you have with a certain girl, the closer her heart is to leveling up and getting into the red. I believe if you're good you can see... oh. <gasps> you can see... All of the needed heart events, and most of the rival heart events, which every girl you're in competition with someone else for. You can see all or most of the rival heart events within two years. But you can see all of the heart events you need to see within about a year and a half. A year if you're lucky. I think Karen is the easiest to get in that regard because all of her heart events can take place within one year. Oh, hey, new girl. And that's your rival for her if you want to go after the librarian girl. Ha! 
Yeah, these two are thick as bricks for a while. I think I'll leave them alone. Go to the beach. And so we've seen one heart event and one rival heart event. And nobody's here. Beach becomes semi-important in the summer. But not really. Okay. Oh, hello. Anne's place. I know what I can do here. Now this is like Karen's introductory scene. It's not a hard event, it's just an introductory scene. I'm not gonna voice him. I think she's... Wow! She's cute. Wow, controller glitched. Funnily enough, Anne is one of the original Harvest Moon girls. She's always been a tomboy inven inventor. Okay, can't talk to her now. So we exit. Come back in. Let me in! Oh, you jerk. Now, just go find her. Come on! Hello, kitty. And there we go. And she doesn't find flowers that interesting. The standard thank you is a... Oh, that's nice. But, um... You can tell by their reactions whether or not they like it a lot. Some girls are just more receptive to it than others. Oh, hello! Hi. You can wait a minute. I'll give you a flower. Hey! Aha! See, Karen likes the flower. I think potpourri is very susceptible to poultry products and considers flowers to be just a, eh, they're nice. If I remember correctly, potpourri and her mother were originally the people you got flowers from and other things. Just a Sabrina to make me an accessory from the Orhalka Maga. Okay. Oh, goodness. It's getting a bit tiring out here. Uh, first, we've got to water our crops. Because we've done everything else that we can do today, we have yet to water our crops. Water, 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 water. There we go. Yes, yes, it's six. I get it. One last bit. And we'll be done. There are harvest sprites to help you in this game. And they basically automate the process. But they kind of suck at first. 
Chef Nappy Timid Huggy Stayed Bold in Aqua. So we made 250 gold. We've spent 470. And our watering can is ready to level. But we're not ready to pay for a level. In fact, it's unlikely that we'll be ready to pay for a level before summer. But that's okay. Winter is when you level most of your tools anyways. So... Do 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 Yeah, Woodcutter's house. You can pretty much see how the town is laid out. Aha! Lumber shed. Six lumber. We're going to want to actually start <laughs> getting as much lumber as we can fairly quickly. Because at the end of two years, if you haven't won the heart of a girl, she'll marry your rival. So yeah, there's a hard and fast time limit here. That's why I want you guys to pick what crops we're going to replace our initial three with. And I want you guys to pick which girl we're going after. Because I can look up the specific heart days. And make sure that I hit each and every one of them. So, that's all there is to that. Like I said, tell me what crops you want me planting. Tell me what girl you want me going after. And then we will go with that on the very next opportunity. So, all things considered, after we save, that will be an episode. Ah. So, I guess I'll see you guys later. This is Man in the Black Hat. And this has been Let's Play Harvest Moon, only on RezzoWalkthroughs.com. See ya.